greetings in the mighty and wonderful name of our soon coming Jesus Christ. Our scripture for today is found in the book of Psalms 46 verse 10 and 11. I will read it in your hearing. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. We are reminded by this verse that we ought to be still and be silent in the midst of confusion. We ought to be still and trust the God that we serve in the midst of our trials and tribulation. For He is our refuge. He is the only one we can run to. There is no other refuge. Let us go back and remember the disciples who were in the boat with Christ. When they were faced with the storm, they tried everything they could, but they did not succeed. Then they remembered that there is Christ among them. Christ is in the boat. Why could not they call Christ and ask him to help them? And they said to him, do you not care that we perish? Why are you sleeping and yet we are dying? He just stood up and said to the waves, peace be still and all was in order. The same applies in our lives today. When we are faced with trials and tribulations, we do not need to be like the disciples. We do not need to go out there and try and resolve our issues. For he says, be still and know that I am God and I am your refuge. Let us just go to him, run to him and he will say, peace. Be still and all will be in order. Are you tried? Are you tempted? Are you troubled? Run to the master. He is the right refuge. Run to the king of kings. Run to the one who understands. Run to the one who has treaded on this earth, who has been there like you and me. Run to the one who understands better. For he says, I will never give you anything that you cannot carry. Whatever we go through, he knows that we are able to make it. He knows the strength that we have, but we can only make it if we trust in him. We can only make it if we call upon him. We can only make it if we call and know that he is God. Be still and know that he is God. God bless you.